properties here. So the word fluvial just means anything to do with a river. The first thing is erosion. So erosion is just the breakdown of uh, material in a river by the movement of the water. The first kind is vertical erosion. So this is ero uh, erosion downwards due to the force of gravity. But we also get lateral erosion or side to side. Think of your lines of latitude uh, eroding uh, the banks of the river. We also, all the four types of erosion that we get, the first one is abrasion. Think of the S like sandpaper, uh, rocks at the bottom, uh, a braid or rub away at the beds and banks of the river. The second one, solution, the, uh, the slightly acidic um, river water dissolves finer sediment, uh, leaving it suspended in solution. The next one is attrition, so think of that tut tut sound, rocks banging together, eventually becoming more rounded and less angular. And then finally, hydraulic action with uh, the force of water being pushed into cracks, widening uh, cracks in the riverbanks. This is an example of an upper course landform. This is the falls applied formed by vertical erosion. But we've also got meanders on the river Clyde that have created a river cliff where the velocity of the river is faster on the outside of the meander bend. Transportation is another thing that rivers do, another fluvial process. The first one is traction. This is where large boulders roll along uh, the bed of the river like a tractor. We also get saltation where slightly smaller sediment bounces along the river bed. We also get suspension where finer sand and silt is suspended and carried, transported by the river, uh, not touching the bed or banks of the river and finally solution this is where minerals again are dissolved by the slightly acidic river water you can see here some examples of uh, transportation that are happening so you can see these large boulders probably won't move unless there is a storm event however in the middle course uh, you're more likely to get um, smaller rocks and pebbles being transported by uh, further downstream by the river and then finally in the lower course we only really get fine sand and silt being deposited or transported. The final proof of fluvial process is deposition where a river puts down the material it's carrying because it doesn't have enough energy. The first type is that deposition in the upper course is generally of large boulders that the river doesn't have enough energy to carry. Then in the middle course we get deposition in the form of a slip off slope or point bar on the inside of a meander where the velocity of the water is slower and finally in the lower course we get a deposition of finer sand and silt leading to the formation of mudflats, levees and floodplains.